There's some great new features in the latest DJI Mic firmware update that make audio backup recording even more bulletproof. For example, you can set up a recording lock on the transmitter to prevent whoever's wearing it from accidentally stopping it. And you can even set it up to automatically start backup recording. I'll show you these features in just a minute. First, you'll need to update the firmware on the DJI Mic receiver and also the two transmitters. Head over to the DJI Mic support page, which I'll link to in the description, and download both the receiver and transmitter firmware files to your your computer. It's always a good idea to make sure batteries are fully charged before doing any firmware updates and then start by connecting the receiver to the computer using a USB-C cable. The receiver will show up on your computer and then just copy the receiver firmware file from your computer over to the root directory on the receiver. The receiver firmware file is the one with the RX in the file name here. Make sure the file has finished copying over and then unplug the USB cable from the receiver. Turn the receiver on and the update should start and you should see the screen say updating. To update the transmitters, do one at a time and follow the same process, but once you've connected a transmitter to your computer, this time copy the transmitter update file. This is the one with the TX in the file name here. When the file's finished copying, unplug the USB cable, turn the transmitter on and the update will start. You should see the LED on the transmitter flashing red and green, which means the update is installing. Do the same thing for the other transmitter. Once everything's updated, you can head into the settings on the receiver and swipe across and check the firmware versions of the receiver and also the transmitters. If you've customized any settings in the receiver, you'll want to go and set them up again because as part of the firmware update, all of those settings will be reset to the factory defaults. The first great new feature is the ability to lock the record button on the transmitters and by default this is turned off. To turn it on, swipe down and go across and tap on the transmitter settings option. Swipe across and tap this record stop lock option. You can turn it on or off. If you have this feature turned on, you can still start internal recording by pressing the record button on the transmitter, but you can't turn it off using this button. To turn it off, you need to swipe up on the receiver and tap the record button. The second great new feature is automatic backup recording. This feature is turned off by default. To turn it on in the transmitter settings, come across to auto record and then turn it on. Now, the next time you turn a transmitter on, internal backup recording will automatically start. You can see this from the red LED here. If it doesn't automatically start, you just need to turn the transmitter off and then on again, just so the setting can update from the receiver to the transmitter. With both of these new settings turned on, you'll always be recording backup audio and you'll never accidentally turn off backup recording by accidentally hitting the button on the transmitter. If you're not sure how to use backup recording or edit with the backup files, check out this video next to see how to use backup recording if your main audio fails. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.